We are standing in front of 2816 Wismer. This is a property that we just bought a couple of weeks ago for $50,000. Our rehab budget on this was $40,000. So we will be all into this property for $90,000. We have an appraiser coming today to give us an appraisal on the property and we're shooting for an appraised value of around $140,000. What that means for us is we use the burst strategy so we should be able to get all of the money invested in the property back when we go to refi this property in the next couple of weeks. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, we have just walked into the house. We're in the main family room. When we purchased this property, these floors looked like shit. And what we did is we just cleaned them up and put a coat of polyurethane over them. We didn't sand them down. We didn't uh, stain them. We simply did a coat of poly. Pro tip, if you're doing a rental property, uh, clean them up and throw a coat of poly on them and it will make your floors look great. Now this property is a four bedroom, one and a half bath, so it's a four two. We have one bedroom on the main level right here, as you can see. Look how pretty those floors are, guys. Um, we're gonna, let's go this way next. Here we have our formal dining room, and we use vinyl planks on the floor in here. These vinyl planks are really great. They're cheap and they're waterproof. They're also really, really easy to install. So if you don't have a ton of experience, you know, putting floors down and you're one of the kind of people that are doing it yourself or you're handy, these floors are great. Next, we are going to come into our kitchen. And in this kitchen, you can see that it is a golly kitchen. We didn't do anything special. We put in new countertops almost just cut myself uh, we uh, kept the cabinets that were in here and just painted the cabinets and then we got some used appliances from another property and threw those in here nothing special this is a rental property one thing that we did in terms of our rehab was we added a half bath on the main level so when we bought the home it was a four bedroom one bath and we didn't like that so we added an additional half bath on the main level as you can see here it is nothing special but it does give the renters and or the tenants the ability to use a restroom and wash their hands without having to go all the way upstairs where we have the original bath so now let's go upstairs and check out the three bedrooms as well as the one full bath that this house has to provide As you can see, there is three bedrooms in this house. I'm sorry, four bedrooms in this house. One on the main level, one here, one there, and one there. Again, we did the same thing with the floors in this house. We cleaned them up and we just used a, a single coat of polyurethane to make them look pretty. We didn't sand them down, we did not stain them. So, pro tip, save some money, just use poly. Here we have, here we have the one and only full bath in this house. Now we glazed this tile. I believe whenever we bought this house, this tile was a goofy color. We glazed it white. It is a cheap way to make the tile look clean and new. Again, we did similar on the floor. We used a peel and stick. Uh, tile this tile here is actually a grautable tile so it's a little bit better for bathrooms also waterproof so all in all the place looks great um, we should have this place rented within the next couple of days and uh, just to review the numbers one more time the purchase was 50 um, 55 I believe actually we put about 40 in so we're gonna be all into this for under a hundred will be about 90 95 thousand total and we think that this should appraise for around $140,000. All right, now that we've seen the inside of the property and we walked it, let's take a look at what the property looked like when we bought it. 
Let's take a look at the comps so we can determine our ARV or what we should expect it to appraise for. And then let's take a look at our spreadsheet so we can determine our ROI on this deal. So this is what the property looked like when we bought it. It had great bones, as you can see. However, it uh, was definitely dated. It had some siting issues that needed to be uh, addressed. It had some landscaping that needed to be addressed. It had a stump in the front yard. It needed a roof. So as you can see, the property needed some love and we spent $40,000 fixing it up. You can also see the tile in the kitchen was green as well as in the bathroom. We did not rip that down. Uh, instead, we just glazed over the tile. So this is what the property looked like when we bought it. Now let's take a look at the comps. So we're gonna go over to my favorite software here and we're gonna look at the comps for this property and get an idea of what this property um, ARV is. So we are gonna look at the higher end properties that have sold in the area, go away. And we can see that there was a four one and a half for 155. There was a four two for 148, and a three one for 129. That's all in the area here. So we could conservatively say that we should be able to get a hundred and forty thousand dollar appraisal for a property that's a four two in this area. And again, we want to be conservative because we are not rehabbing these properties to the nines we're doing rental grade rehabs but we did spend forty thousand dollars so we should assume to get an arv that is in the higher end range so one hundred and forty thousand is our expected arv now let's take a look at our uh, repair sheets we can determine our return on investment all right so here we are at our rehab expense spreadsheet we use spreadsheets like this to keep track of everything so we know where we stand <clears throat> on each project. Very, very important. <clears throat> As you can see here, we categorize it by materials, labor, holding costs, and then of course we have suppliers, items, and the amount. This is a very simple spreadsheet and it is very, very important. So you can see in this particular scenario, we had a budget of $40,000 for this project and we have spent so far 41,500 and change. So we're over budget by about $1,500, but it is not that big of a deal because that is not a crazy amount. So we're doing good on this one. I've also highlighted in green here, the lender fees that we're paying. Now, when we go to rehab and buy a property, we, buy, we borrow 100% of the purchase and the rehab. The goal is to have zero dollars of our own money invested uh, in the end. And that's exactly what we've done with this particular property. So you can see here, we've paid our lenders so far $7,650 in interest, but that is okay because it makes us, uh, allowed us to get into this property uh, in the end for nothing out of pocket. Lastly, what I want to do is I want to review the numbers. So we are still going to have a couple expenses that are going to fill these columns right here over the next three weeks. Right now we are leasing the property and we will refi in about three weeks time. So there will probably be a couple additional expenses in terms of holding costs and or minor repairs that the occupancy inspector may give us. So we have an appraised amount of 140,000 that we just saw based on our ARV. And then what we've done is we've calculated 70, 75 and 80% of the appraisal. So I'm pretty confident that in this area, I'm gonna get a loan at about 75%. However, if I am discounted down to only 70%, I will still get a loan for $98,000, assuming it appraises for 140. Purchase the property for 55,000. Um, I'm all into the property at 41,000. And I've even added an additional thousand dollars to my formula for the line items that will fill these right here in the meantime. What this means is I am all into this property for $97,530. If I get the appraisal at 70%, that's $98,000.
as you know, $98,000 is more than $97,500 and change. So I will be able to acquire this property with zero dollars out of my own pocket. In fact, I'll probably walk at closing with a few hundred dollars profit. I did this using the Burr strategy, which is simply a strategy to acquire a lot of assets very rapidly with little to none of your own money. This scenario here, I should be into this property for zero even make a few dollars now my lender is going to get all of his money back plus interest and everybody wins in the last 10 maybe 12 months my partners and i have done this about 50 times so thanks for watching more case studies to come and uh, i'm excited to share some more tips and tricks with you guys thanks again for watching